Chapter 1. Hamsters as Pets Raising hamsters is relatively easy, if you do it correctly. They are great pets that are usually friendly, sweet, and interactive, but at the same time, aren't high-maintenance pets like many animals are. They do require the same level of research, though. You should always research before you get your pet so you will know what to expect and will be educated on their care before you get them. It would be frustrating to get a pet and then find out it isn't what you expected it to be like or that you bought a cage that is too small or supplies that aren't suitable. Buy or adopt? Adopting. First, you should adopt or buy a hamster from a breeder instead of buying one from a pet shop. Pet shop hamsters come from hamster mills, which are hamsters being bred in mass conditions and given poor care. You shouldn't support that kind of breeding. And also, your hamsters could have health problems because hamster mills don't carefully select healthy hamsters to breed that don't have a history of health problems in their family, the way breeders do. If you buy from a reputable breeder, you will know that your hamster doesn't have health problems. So, there's a good chance that he or she will live longer. Buying from breeders If you buy a winter white from a breeder, you will know that you have a full-blooded winter white, and not a hybrid. Winter whites can hybridize with Campbell's Russian hamsters. And when you buy from a pet store, you don't know whether your hamster is a hybrid. This doesn't really matter, of course, unless you plan on breeding, in which case you definitely should buy from a breeder so that you will be breeding responsibly. You also will be able to return your hamster to the breeder if something goes wrong, and you will be given support and information if a problem occurs. Another benefit is that there will be no risk that your female hamster is pregnant, which often happens when you buy them from pet stores. Where to adopt? You can find hamsters for adoption at your local shelters, as well as on PetFinder, Craigslist, privately owned rescues, and other online ads if you want to take the adoption route. There are many homeless hamsters in the world, and likely dozens in your own area, from young, old, and any of the five species. It can be difficult for people to find good homes for them, so it's always a good idea to try to adopt before you buy a hamster. What to look for? Be sure to look for any possible signs of illness, no matter where you get your hamsters from. Dull, watery eyes, messy poop, hair loss, wheezing, and lethargy are all common bad signs. Note. Hamsters are nocturnal, so lethargy could possibly be due to that. Hamsters that aren't ill are normally alert a few minutes after they've been woken up, though, and especially around a person they don't know. Monitor the hamster and see how he or she is acting. Avoid buying or adopting from a person, store, or shelter that has hamsters displaying these symptoms and notify them of possible illness so they can be quarantined, treated, and not sold or adopted out to an unsuspecting person. Hamsters can be shy and reclusive, which don't make them particularly good children's pets. Hamsters as children's pets Hamsters are not very good pets for children. If the children are going to be the main caretakers of the hamster, there are a number of reasons why, so it is best if the parent cares for the hamster as well as the child. Hamsters, being nocturnal, could keep children up at night if the hamster is housed in the child's bedroom. This also means the child won't get to play with the hamster very much, especially young children that have early bedtimes. Hamsters are prey animals, so if they are sick, they will hide their illness. Prey animals are very good at hiding signs of illness to the point where even adults can have a hard time telling whether their hamster is truly ill. Some hamsters can be nippy or shy. Hamsters can be very easily injured because they are so small and have such delicate spines. A small drop could break their spine. Children must be very careful around hamsters to ensure they don't hurt them. Some children can be rough, which is particularly unsuitable with small animals. Parents will need to always supervise young children when they are around the hamster, and be sure that their children understand how delicate hamsters are. Children often lose interest in pets very quickly once the novelty has worn off. Even if they don't, 
they could forget to feed or water the hamster. This is why the parent should always be willing to care for the hamster if their children should lose interest or forget to care for it.